I have started a video series on the manual detailing for steel construction by AISC and NIST. I have already completed two chapters. In the subsequent chapters, it deals with the forces in connection and members, types of members. So for that, first, we need to have basic understanding of what are forces, what are the types of members, internal stresses, equilibrium. So I will be covering these fundamentals in the series called engineering fundamentals. In the today's video, we will see about the types of members. So let's watch. The content of the video is introduction, members, in that member, tension member, compression member, and bending member, and summary in the end. Members. So, how they are classified? They are classified according to they are loaded and how they transfer the force from one point to another point of the structure and as already told they are tension member compression member and bending member so you might have played tug of war in your childhood in that game the rope is in tension so tension members Tension members are the members who are pulled by two forces that act in the line of action through the length of the member. The line of action must pass through the center of gravity. Otherwise, that force may cause bending. The tension members are mostly used as bracings and hangers so this is structure a b c d with pin joints and the members are loaded by the load at joint b then there is Horizontal translation at the level BC and member AC will undergo lengthening by amount delta LAC. So articulation of the joint B is, this is the joint B, it is pin joint B and it is loaded by force and after loading there is structural drift at joint b so the member ac is undergoing tension so the forces acting are tac at joint A and at joint C dash it is T A C dash and so the final length of the member is L A C plus delta L A C compression members compression members are the members that are pushed or loaded in compression by two forces that act in a line of action along the length of the member columns post struts are the example of compression members suppose here structure a b c d with pin joints and members as shown in the figure is loaded by a force at joint B. Then we will study here the member BD. It is undergoing compression 
as its length is reducing by an amount delta L B D. So the member B D and at B dash D the compressive forces are C B D at B dash joint and C D B at D joint. As it is undergoing reduction in its length, its final length will be L B D minus delta L B D. Bending members. A beam is a generic name for bending members. Girders, joists, purlins, guards, pandrails are the common examples of bending members. So here in the figure, this is spandrel. And in the truss figure, these are purlins spanning from truss to truss. And girds are the horizontal members that support the wall. These are the primary beams. The primary beams are the beams on which these secondary beams are resting. Primary beams. So bending members. This is the structure A, B, C, D loaded with force at joint B. So the joint B undergoes translation, but the BD buckles, causing structure to collapse. So summary, we have learned the tension member, compression member and bending members and how they are loaded. And thank you so much for being with me throughout this video. This is the AISC committee who prepared the manual detailing for steel construction. I am grateful to them. All the credits are given to the committee. If you find this video useful, then please share. It will help others. And subscribe to get notified about the new videos.